Hi, Matthew. Thank you for joining us today. Can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Matt Cole, and I'm the co-founder of Sporpal. Uh, prior to Sporpal, I was a sports agent for the better part of 10 years, and I was the director of the Blaze Agency in Australia. Thank you. So my top five tips for choosing a sports agent would be, firstly, don't sign with the first agent that approaches you. If you're an athlete and you've been approached by an agent to represent you, you have to think to yourself, why have they approached me? Uh, and you have to look at what's in it for you as the athlete. So what's the benefit for you for getting an agent uh, and why has that agent approached you? The second thing would be, do your research. So find out who the agent is that approached you or find out what agents are in your market that are, that are professional agents in your, in your field and do your research on them. Make sure they've got the right accreditation. Make sure they've got a good relationship with the provinces. Go around and ask other players, other clubs, you know, if they've got clients that you know, go and have a chat to them. Find out what's good about them, what's bad about them, to make sure you've got all the information that, uh, that is physically possible or humanly possible to get before you sign, on that, sign that contract. The third thing is, don't be afraid to go with an agent that's got a few clients. Uh, there's often a misconception that sometimes if an agent's got a few clients, they won't be able to look after you. And that may be the case if they've got a thousand clients or they've got hundreds of, of clients, but if they've got a couple of clients in your position, what often happens is, if there's a movement with those clients, then your agent's likely to know about that opportunity or that contract coming available before any other agent because he's got enough market knowledge. Also, that agent will know what's going on in Australia, or New Zealand, France, Japan. It'll know what's going all over the world and therefore they'll be able to give you a better advice. The fourth thing, get to know them personally. Your agent's gonna give you good news, your agent's gonna give you bad news, but you've gotta be able to deal with them professionally. So go and have a cup of coffee with them, go and get a meal with them, and make sure that you guys have got a really good, open, honest relationship. One of the top things that my clients always used to say, and why our relationship works so well, was that we could, we could be always open and honest with each other. So that's pretty important to make sure you, you're really comfortable with your agent before you sign with them. The fifth thing is, your job is to be a professional athlete. That's your goal. Your, job, your goal is not to sign with an agent. So once you've signed with an agent, that's not the end game. The end game is to become a professional athlete. Your agent is not going to help you become a professional athlete if your performances aren't justifying the contracts. So the hard work doesn't, you know, the hard work doesn't stop when you've signed with an agent. It only gets harder, and that's when the competition for those professional contracts is going to get even harder. So make sure that you are very realistic of your agent's role in, in your sort of overall career in becoming a professional athlete. So good luck. Thank you.